Hello everyone. In order to explain and introduce to you the most physical components, the most important physical components contained in the hard drive, we have created this video. Now we have put the hard drive to parts so we can see clearly the inside environment of one hard drive. We have opened this hard drive. We can see there are several physical components inside. Actually, not all of them are important. The only important parts are the following. The first one, we can see the platter. So this is a platter. We have put one sticker on it. But in our daily data recovery jobs, we cannot do like this because the platter contains the data and we cannot even touch the platter surface at all because this will damage the data. So usually, when we receive physical data recovery cases, the platter problem is very common. Like the platter is contaminated. For example, we can see there are many dust on this surface. For this kind of platters, we need to clean the platters within the clean room. So this is the first issue, the platter problem. Second, the second most important physical component inside this hard drive, that is the heads. The heads is in charge of the read and write from the platters. From another drive, we can see it clearly. This is one laptop hard drive. We can see that the heads parks on the parking rim and it will move inside and outside to read and write data from the platters. So the heads are also very important. Within the data recovery maps, we can see such kind of cases very common. That is, the heads are damaged. We need to find the dollar heads to replace the damaged heads. To replace the damaged heads, we need to use the head comb. So this is one of the level 2 head comb suit. We can see it's W. Two, two. That means Western Digital 2.5 hard drive and this two means the two platters. So for this laptop hard drive, after we open the hard drive, we can see that there are two platters. So we need to use this head comb. We have marked it very clearly. W22. So we can select this head comb and insert this head comb, insert to this one. We need to press the heads, insert to it and move the, move the head comb to the heads, to separate the heads. So this is a head issue. After the heads get damaged, we need to replace the damaged heads within the clean room. The third one, we can see there are some maglets. So we can see that this is the top maglets. And we can also see the top maglets. So we have top and bottom maglets to control the head's movement. So this one also sometimes also very important. You know, after sometimes use, the magnetism has been decreased, and it doesn't offer enough strength to the head's movement, and this may cause problem too. So after we swap the heads, sometimes I mean, users can try to swap the top magnets, the top magnet from the dollar drive to the pension drive. 
Okay, let's check the other physical components. And this one is the dumpers. This one is put between the platters. Usually, this one is not important, but if we want to swap the platters, we need to swap one by one. Like we have one platter extractor. So we need to extract the platter, like this one. Then we extract it one by one and put the platters to the platter holder. So we need to put the platters back, back to the hard drive. This is the platter extractor. Let's check the last physical component of the hard drive. This is a spacer ring. Spacer ring is put on the spindle. This is a spindle motor. It is to separate the platters. But this one sometimes affects the platter balance. And also the planter's clamp. The planter's clamp it has the same defects, like the spacer ring. It is in charge of the balance of the motor to spin the platters. So this one is also very important. It's called the recirculation filter. So for filter, it means it is to clean the running air inside the hard drive. Sometimes we can find the filter is black and it's severely contaminated. How this is contaminated is usually caused by the damaged heads because there are black stones over the head stack. After the heads are damaged and the platter surfaces are scratched, we can see this one is black. So this one must be very carefully checked. So the next one is the PCB. So for hard drive, we can usually divide the hard drive to the physical components of the heads, platters, the maglets, and the head stack contacts. Another part, that is a PCB, because the PCB is in charge of offer the electricity. That means offer power to other physical components to work. So within the PCB, the most important is the ROM chip. We also call it the flash, the BIOS chip. So this one is the most important, the flash. The BIOS chip. It has eight legs. If we watch the ID within the microscope, we can see the chip ID starts with 25. The other components within the PCB, that is the TV diodes. This one is really easily to get burned. So sometimes when you power on the hard drive, it's not spinning at all. We can check if the TV diodes are burned or not. We can smell it. Or we can check if there are any sign of burned. So the others are a lot easy to get broken. So this is a PCB. For this TV diodes, we can change it, we can remove it. But for the ROM chip, when the PCB is damaged, we must transfer the original ROM chip to the dollar PCB. For most hard drives, if users don't have the original ROM chip, this one, the data will be gone. 
the data cannot be recovered. So it's suggested for users to keep to store the original ROM chip. Always keep it for data recovery purpose. So let's make a concluding on this video. The most physical components are inside inside the hard drive are the platters, the platters <coughs> containing the data. The most common cases we may receive about the platter are the platter contamination, platter scratches, platter swap from the original drive to the donor drive. The second important physical component inside the hard drive, that is the heads. So for head cases, we also receive cases like the head damage, weak heads, or contaminated heads. So to fix the head damage, we need to swap the heads, or we need to use selective head image within the DFL DDP data recovery software. So this is the head cases and platter cases. And sometimes we may also receive cases about the spindle motor. The motor is dead. So we need to swap the platters, swap the platters from the original drive to one dollar drive. And also we need to swap the heads because we need to use the original heads if the original heads are good. If the original heads are damaged, we need to use the dollar heads. So the spindle motor problem is the third common problem. The fourth one is the PCB issue. The PCB is also important physical component, but it's not inside the hard drive, it's outside. This one is also very common cases, like PCB burned, or the ROM damage, ROM damage, or the TV downloads burned, or someone has just swapped the PCB without moving the original ROM chip, and they lose the original PCB. So these are the most common cases we receive within our data recovery net. So after this video, users can learn the most physical components. But one thing we need to mention is that when you are operating on such kind of physical data recovery cases, you must open the hard drives in the clean room and never touch the platter service. Never leave your fingerprints on the platters. You must try your best to protect the heads, protect the platters. Thank you for watching this video.